All right. Today, boys and girls, we're going to be taking a look at subtraction problems. And today, as you can see on your screen, I'm going to start off with some three-digit minus three-digit numbers. Uh, the question at the top of the screen says, which of these problems would we need to ungroup before we could subtract? I'm not going to do any subtraction. I'm just looking for which ones do we need to ungroup? All right, well, let me see. If I take a look at these numbers without worrying about an answer, can I go down in the ones place and subtract to get down to the five? No. How about in the tens? No. So this problem becomes one where I'd say, I need to ungroup twice in order for me to subtract. Well, let's go over here to 427. And the ones place, seven, yeah, I can go down to five. Don't need to ungroup to get more ones. Two, no, I can't. So I would need to ungroup to get more in the tens to be able to subtract. If I look over at 483 in the ones place, no, I can't subtract and go down. How about in the tens? Yeah, that'd be fine. Hundreds, yep. If I go over here to 487 in the ones, yeah, I could subtract. I don't need to ungroup. And in the tens, yes, I can subtract. I don't need to ungroup. And I don't need to ungroup. So as I look at each one, this one has two places I need to uh, get more. So I'd ungroup two times. This one only needs more in the tens. So I'd ungroup to get more tens. And this one only needs to ungroup to get more ones. This one needs none at all. Taking a look at each of these, my new question to you is, how many times do we need to ungroup before we can subtract? So I'm going to give you a moment to look at this one. 328 minus 176. Look at each place. How many times do I need to ungroup before we can subtract? Once or twice? If you said once, you are correct. You need to ungroup to get more tens. The ones are fine. Let's look at this next problem. 635 minus 176. How many times do we need to ungroup before we can subtract? If you said twice, you got it. First, we have it to get more ones. Second, we'll need to get more tens. So we need to ungroup twice. How about in this problem, 480 minus 176? How many times do we need to ungroup before we can subtract? Yes, once. We need to get more ones in order to do it. Now, I know some kids are thinking, but Mr. Frederick, when we do this, 8 becomes a 7. You're right, it does. But it's only 7 minus 7. That you don't need to ungroup to be able to subtract. Look at our last one over here, 297 minus 176. How many times do we need to ungroup before we can subtract? If you said none, you are correct. This doesn't need any ungrouping before we can subtract. So today what we're going to be taking a look at is how do I make sure I get myself an accurate subtraction problem? Before I do anything, even if I make pictures, I want to be able to understand how many times I need to ungroup and where. So if I look at the problem 328 minus 176, I think to myself, do I need to ungroup? Do I need to ungroup? Hmm. Do I need to ungroup to subtract? No. Not in the ones. How about in the tens? Yes. So that's one time. How many times do you need to ungroup? One. Subtraction in the ones is direct subtraction. 8 minus 6 is 2. Then I need to ungroup 100, leave me with 2 left, and having 12 now in the tens, then I can subtract again, and I can subtract in the hundreds to get an answer of 152. Today, I'd like you to go ahead and practice working on these three problems. I'd like you to pause the video. When you're done, come back to check your work and see how you did. All right, boys and girls, welcome back. Let's take a look at how you did. In our first problem in here, number one, 
we already found that we needed to ungroup one time in order to be able to subtract in the tens. Looking at number two, you needed to un ungroup two times, which means in the tens place, you're going to see an ungroup and an ungroup. So keep in mind that number will change two times. When you do subtract, you'll get a total of 459. The place many kids make the mistake is not thinking through step by step, and they would change this to a 13 instead of a 12. Be careful with that. If you need to make changes, please do so. Take a look at number three. For this one, you only needed to ungroup one time. I needed more ones. There is a change in the tens so that I can see I need more ones. When I subtract, then I get 304. Again, if you need to make changes, please do so in your practice. Number four was the easiest one of all. There were no places or times I needed to ungroup. All the numbers at the top in the hundreds, tens, and ones were larger than the ones below them. When I subtract, I get 121. Next, I'd like you to go ahead and do some practice on the following page, page 346. You'll see four subtraction problems. Please go ahead and do your subtraction count up how many times you needed to ungroup, and then you can unpause the video to see how you did. Welcome back. Let's take a look at how you did. Number five was a very easy one. There was no need to ungroup at all. The numbers and the digits in the hundreds, tens, and one, and the top number were all larger than the ones below. When you subtract, you get a total answer of 810. Number six, you only needed to ungroup one time. You were fine in the ones, it was the tens where you needed more. Once you ungrouped, you would have four hundreds left, ten tens, still nine ones. When subtracting, you would get an answer of 333. Number seven, this one you did need to ungroup two times. Two zeros, two ungroups. Starting over in the hundreds, you first ungroup the eight hundreds to have seven hundreds. Then that gives you ten tens. You ungroup a second time, now in the tens, ungrouping the ten tens into nine tens, giving that ten ones to the ones place. Once you have that, you can subtract in each place to get an answer of 624. Careful, that second ungroup in the tens is usually what trips up most kids. Finally, number eight, trickiest one of all. When I looked at it at first, I thought I only needed to ungroup one time. But what happened was, after ungrouping the first time, making the seven tens into six tens, giving me ten ones, now my number in the tens digit of six was smaller than the seven, which meant I needed to ungroup a second time, getting ten more tens from the hundreds by ungrouping the five hundreds, turning it into four hundreds, and then getting a new group of sixteen tens. After doing all that ungrouping, I could subtract and get an answer of 394. Please remember, when you're working on your practice to show me what you've learned, keep in mind, it's okay to write down your answers, make drawings, show yourself so you understand the ungrouping, and change any ungrouping in your picture to reflect it back into each place value in the top number. Once you've finished your work, submit your form.